played in Nevada in 1927, I believe it was. And uh, the ball dangle was down here on 101, which was then the Main Street, too, I guess. And the reason why I never played for Nevada, and this is true, is because I came over here with from Point Reyes with, I know that a lot of you people might recall, Bud Farley, who had a dairy farm out there, and he was my catcher. And when I come over here and they wanted me to come over and play, and I asked Mr. Noss if uh, I could use my own catcher, and he said no, so that's the reason why I never played. <laughs> <laughs> But little did I think that in 1927, when we played here, that uh, I would be living here. And you had a, I don't recall the umpire's name, but in baseball we used the word Homer. And that's what he was. <laughs> and uh, we, could, we got beat one to nothing over here. And we beat you once here, but you'd never come to Point Reyes because we had the same type of umpire over there. And uh, so they, you wouldn't bring the Nevada team over there to play us because you couldn't have beat us in Point Reyes either. <laughs> but that's the kind. And then 1928, I went away to Salt Lake City in Class D ball. And I was born on a dairy farm too over in Rodeo. And uh, I think the only reason why I made good was because I didn't want to go back to that. And uh, in fact, I was in the big leagues for four years before I got that smell off of me. <laughs> But anyhow, after Salt Lake, I came back to the San Francisco Seals, and in the middle of the year, the New York Yankees bought me, and I reported back to them. And, and Mr. Jones said, I was very fortunate. When I joined the Yankees, it was the days of Tony Lazari, Babe Ruth, Lou Gehrig, Bill Dickey, Herb Conant, Wade White, and all those fellows. And then to be, and they were called then the uh, Murderer's Row. They had that title. And then I was there during the times of Henry Keller, DiMaggio, Dickey, Crisetti, and a bunch, Joe Gordon, Rizzuto. And I roomed with DiMaggio for six years. In fact, I made a star out of DiMaggio. They didn't know he could go back on a ball until he played behind me, believe me. <laughs> all I ever saw was DiMaggio's number running out, you know. And we were roommates for quite a while, as I say, six years. I still see him. We play a lot of golf together. And then I think one of the great things in baseball. Of course, when I was playing with the Yankees, Babe Ruth would say, are you going to pitch today? And I'd say, yes. He said, well, if you hold him to five runs, we'll beat him. And this is a wonderful feeling when you're a pitcher, believe me. <laughs> but I was very fortunate to be with the Yankees. And uh, I little did I ever dream I'd be with the New York Yankees and the great Babe Ruth and Gehrig and all that bunch. And then to be there, as I said earlier, with the Hendricks, Kellers, DiMaggio's, and Rizzuto's and that. And another man that I played ball against here in, uh, in uh, Nevada was, and I know he always thought that he was a great hitter. He was a good glove man, and that's your former mayor, Babe Silver. He, he couldn't hit the water if he fell out of a boat. <laughs> Some of you folks that played with Babe know that. But he was a good glove man. He was a great fielder and things like that. And to me, I never pitched any harder in the World Series than I ever did a point raiser against Nevada because it was just that's what it meant. So is there any questions at all? I think I'm sure Bill has one. Yeah, I'll shoot Bill. I want to say this about Lefty. I played a lot of semi-ball in the Winter League in San Francisco. And up here we played a lot of good teams. But he the best pitcher that I ever faced. He had a fastball, he had a curve, and most of all, and never seen many of them. Maybe I'm wrong, but he had a low ball. The first time I faced him, he struck me out in three straight balls. I argued with the umpire every time. I said, no, they're too low. He says, no, they're right there proper. I think no one else has a record. Uh, my World Series record, uh, Mr. Jones, meant there were six victories and no defeats. Yeah, that's right. Therefore, we all have something in common right here. I've never lost a World Series game in either of you people. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <laughs> <laughs>